Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So I am here today to talk to you about my top five Disney dogs. I came up with this idea because I just recently posted a picture of Max and Eric on my Instagram and I thought, you know what would be cute? Max is definitely in my top five Disney dogs and I'm a huge fan of dogs. I am such a dog person. I go crazy over them. So my first dog, I'm going from five, four, three, two, one to my favorite. So this is my, this is the bottom of my top five. So this is Percy from Pocahontas. Now I'm pro you're probably wondering why did she pick Percy from Pocahontas? Well, Percy was my high school nickname. I don't really get, I, I like people calling me Priscilla more now just because high school was an era for Percy because that's what all my best friends from high school called me. So, but yes, I adore Percy. I think he's adorable. And then my fourth favorite dog, of course, is Max from The Little Mermaid. I adore that dog. If I could have a big fluffy sheep dog like Max, I absolutely would take him in a heartbeat. He's so adorable. And not to mention he guides Eric to Ariel, so I need a dog to bring me a prince. <laughs> so I love, 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 love Max. Plus he's just so fluffy and adorable and he was just, he was constantly trying to protect Ariel, so he was a good, loyal dog because even when um, Vanessa, what, I mean Ursula was Vanessa and everything, then he was just trying to protect Ariel and Eric because there was a huge sabotage going on. That's why you should always listen to your dogs when they start growling because chances are there's a sea witch trying to steal your old man. <laughs> so my third favorite dog happens to be the wonderful Pongo from 101 Dalmatians. I don't know, Pongo just seems like a, a humongous loyal dog. Like, I don't, there aren't any German, like famous German shepherds in Disney dogs. So I don't know. I feel like Pongo was the closest thing we get to a German shepherd because he's so loyal and he's big. And I mean, I've always wanted a Dalmatian because I know they are loyal dogs. I know that they are extreme energy balls. <laughs> but um, I would, I still want a Dalmatian. At, just because ever I grew up watching 101 Dalmatians, I had little stickies, stickers all over my walls of Perdita and Pongo, Lucky and Rolly and Oddball because by the time that I was growing up, I still had the little stickers all over my wall of 101 Dalmatians and 102 Dalmatians came out eventually. And I just went ahead and kept adding all the Dalmatian stickers all over my wall. But yes, this was like one of the main dogs I was absolutely in love with and I just knew him the most and I grew up with this dog. <laughs> Lady from Lady and the Tramp. I mean, Lady just makes you want to get a Cocker Spaniel and just want to just have adorable little princess dog. <laughs> and I really like Lady because I like her story too because it, it's just a cute like almost like undercover kind of like the Prince and the Pauper story. Not really. She's just this beautiful dog and she's a princess in her home and then this gaunty little pauper comes and takes her away. Kind of like Aladdin almost. <laughs> but I really love Lady and the Tramp too because I love the colors in the movie. It's one of those classics that I just, I adore because of all the colors that are in it. And I just realized that Lady's a really hard dog to draw. I have trouble with her and I have trouble with Pongo. I always have trouble like drawing them, just sketching them out. And then Lady is the first dog in this um, top five dog drawing challenge that has color. All the three dogs I just showed you have all been white. <laughs> so they're like Max is white and gray and Percy is white and gray. And then Pongo's black and white. And now I finally got some color on Lady. And gosh, she's just so hard to draw. I don't know if you guys have the same trouble I do with Pongo and Lady. They are hard dogs to draw. <laughs> but I just love Lady because I love the story. And plus she's a super loyal dog too because she was trying to protect her baby. And then my top favorite dog, this shouldn't have been any surprise to any of you, is Doug from Up. I love Doug. Doug is like the perfect 
picture of what a dog is. There's so much love in Doug and I just, that's all, when I look at Doug, I look at my own dogs and I just think everything that Doug says, they're saying to me. They might not have a collar to express all the love to me, but I know that the way that Doug talks, I'm pretty sure that's how my dogs would talk. And it just, he's the perfect golden retriever. He's the dog that makes me want to buy a golden retriever. I've only had schnauzers my whole life, but Doug is the golden retriever that, that loyal dog, that's the dog I want. I love Doug. Squirrel, I mean, you just, you can't look at Doug and not smile. Even if you're not a dog person, you just can't help but watch up. If you can get past the first 10 minutes and continue watching the movie, then you just can't help but look at Doug and smile because he's perfect. Uh, compared out of all the dogs in Up, Doug was the winner of amazingness. So there's my top five favorite Disney dogs. Doug being the favorite, favorite Disney dog. I know there are a lot of amazing Disney dogs, but these are the five that always stand out to me. I kind of wanted to do a six favorite dog because Nana from Peter Pan is one of my favorites too. So I love Nana and I should have, I should have just went ahead and draw, drawn her right next to Pongo. She would have fit in perfectly, but these are, I, I wanted to keep it the top five, but yes, do you have a favorite Disney dog? Leave in the comments down below. I, I love dogs. And you know, you might be thinking, oh, well, Priscilla is not a cat person. No, you don't understand. I love all animals. The only animals I don't like are snakes. <laughs> I don't like snakes and I don't like spiders. So those are the only animals I don't like. I love all animals. I love cats and I love dogs. So maybe I should do a top five Disney cats next time. But yes, leave in the comments down below. What's your favorite Disney dog? Can you name me all five or can you just give me one? I'll see you all later.